so in this video I'm going to show you how to modulate the uh, rate of an arpeggiator in Bitwig with an LFO and also an audio sidechain and that's going to sound something like this. And just so you can hear it on its own, this is the arpeggiator with the LFO and the audio sidechain. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Just going to delete the LFO here and delete the audio sidechain as well. So let's have a listen to that without the modulation. Pretty boring. So let's start with the LFO. We uh, choose from the list of modulators here. So 8-Track's got all of these possible modulators that can be routed to any parameters in your devices. LFO, choose that. If we click on the LFO there, that brings up all of the parameters for the LFO. I'm just going to make this set to a, a bar, so it's synced to a bar, and I'm going to make it actually sync to the song. Here we go. Also, I'm going to change the phase of the LFO so it doesn't just start from here, it starts from here, so halfway through, which is 50 degrees. And you'll see that it starts from the middle. Okay, and then what we need to do is route the LFO modulation to the parameter in the arpeggiator. So we click on this little button here, make it pulse yellow and blue. And then this is the base rate of the arpeggiator. Just going to increase that to maybe 1.63 ish. I'll do. And so now the LFO is moving the base rate of the arpeggiator up and down a little bit. And also I'm going to click here. This is bipolar mode. I'm just going to change it so that it's unipolar. And so it only takes the base rate up from a quarter note rather than going below as well. Let's see what that sounds like. So you can hear it's uh, making the arpeggiator speed up and down a bit, which is just much more interesting than just the basic arpeggiator on its own. OK, so now let's move on to the audio sidechain. I'm just going to deactivate this LFO for the minute so you can hear the audio sidechain on its own. And then I'm going to click on this plus and add the audio sidechain modulator. So what we're going to do is modulate the base rate again of this arpeggiator um, but with the signal of the snare from this track. So what we do is we find go to the device input, drums, chains, find the snare layer. It's going to have the whole output of the snare layer. So what we're going to do is every time this snare hits, this base rate of the arpeggiator is going to go up, similar to the LFO, but it's the snare that's causing the modulation. This rise and fall is essentially the attack and release of the modulation. It's going to have the rise or attack very, very short, and also the fall quite short as well. 1.9, and then we need to route the modulation to the base rate. So again, we click here. So it's pulsing blue and yellow, and then move that up. Let's have that something like that. And also, this lets us zone in on a particular part of the spectrum of the snare. So I'm just going to use the sort of strongest fundamental bit, which is generally about 100 to around 400 ish. So let's leave that. And also I'm going to turn up the input of the snare into the audio sidechain so that it hits the threshold and has a nice strong effect on the bass rate. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, 
So you can hear every time the snare hits, you're seeing it here and it's speeding up the arpeggiator. So with them both together, let's activate this LFO. So I'm going to turn up the modulation of this just a touch more. And this one as well. So I just click here. Let's put that up all the way up to kind of three. Make it really obvious that the effect is happening. And in the track. Okay, and there you go. That's how to modulate the arpeggiator with modulators within Bitwig. I'm Joel from Plugin Boutique. If you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Bye.